I'm Tony with Earth Files Earth History, and the images that you looked at is how Mary's crater is presented to the public, and basically what you see or what you think you see is a crater, uh, but actually it's a uh, deteriorated glass dome, and since everything is pretty well turned turned to dust and crumbled, um, this once which was a glass dome, uh, ages excess of 250 million years old. Before we go to the uh, so-called crater, we're gonna look at what's around the crater. And as you notice, uh, you can see where there, there used to be a structure. So I guess my best guess is that there was a city that was built around this glass dome, and these are remnants of it. And you can see the um, parts of the structure on this side that were left after most of it deteriorated. Now remember, this crater is 24 miles across, and this city goes past that crater, which is actually used to be a glass dome, goes all the way out here. All this is deteriorated, and this is some fragments left of the structure. And as you can see, here's part of the structure here. It comes up here and goes through here. Then you have a structure or uh, part of whatever was left of the structure here and here. Now, this city extended for many miles out in this direction. As you notice, this gray here looks like it's streaked on, and it's done through here, and it doesn't really match anything around it. This is because it's airbrushed. So there must have been some large buildings that were still visible uh, with this glass laying over it. So remember that these large glass domes on top of it had glass canopies that covered these cities that were connected to the glass dome itself. Now we're gonna uh, take a closer view. And let me enlarge it for us. Take it back, okay. Here's uh, the city and the remnants and the structure I was talking about a while ago. And so what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna head down in this direction and we're gonna find some uh, structural artifacts that was left over. So I'm gonna switch this over to close up. All uh, right, see the foggy, smoky look. This is glass that hadn't completely deteriorated yet. And as you notice in this picture, there's a wall that goes completely around. It's slightly bent here from the weight of the debris, pushing against the wall, pushing it that way. So I'm gonna take it, see if we can get a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, you can see the, see the wall now here. Then you see there's a top plate that's coming on at an angle here up. There was something between this wall and the glass dome that was put on top of the wall before the glass dome was built. And I don't know if it's glass or metal, but it has to be one of the two. And why it was put there, I have no idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit closer and we're gonna check out that wall and take a look at it. So I'm gonna move us uh, into the next image. And let's take a look. Now you can see the wall here. It's kind of bent here. 
and this top plate goes up here. And then you can see there's a structure right here. It's perfectly square. And then you can see the, the, uh, the glass right here. And then you can see the, the structure. Or I think these are walls. Remember, this wall is 4,000 feet tall, or maybe a little bit less uh, to the interior floor here. So it's, it's three, 4,000 feet uh, in height, which makes the height of this structure still pretty tall. And these side here looks like some support beams. These actually are walls that are, are standing. And you can see one here, it makes a 90 degrees, another 90, then back over. So I'm going to move it up. And we're going to go to the next image. And I turned up the highlight just a little bit more. So you can see this structure here and you can see uh, this even clear these structures that are left and we're going to go to the next image now in this image you can really see uh, the wall standing this is the top of it here evenly spaced apart and you can see where this this top plate that goes between the wall and the glass dome. Uh, I guess it, it just twisted up. So apparently it's laid separately on top and the dome's built on top of it. And then over here is where the glass is. And here's that structure I was talking about earlier. And you notice this is not laying on the ground. See the space underneath it? Here. So whatever this is attached to, it's still hanging on to it. This color, it turned out really well, especially in the details. I'm going to enlarge it. And now you can see the platelet here, the wall where it swayed from the white. And you're going to notice right here, let me get a little bit closer. The wall caved in and you can see through it. So apparently between this wall shifting and twisting, um, it probably put the tolerances too high on this plate and this plate just, just came loose. And also notice the structure is sticking up. We talked about that one earlier also. So anyway, um, before I close out, uh, the next images are the light, and then towards the end, I have a picture of who built these mounds, and I found it at, at Cone Crater, and it's listed under uh, images that NASA never wanted the public to see, and you're going to see all the pictographs that I found, they are listed. So I will catch you on the next video, and thanks for watching.